We're going to talk a little bit about Sicelli today. I've got a brand new project started here on IntelliJ on Sicelli, and we're going to start off by creating uh, two source files. One is going to contain our test code, and I'll call this the tester. And the test code will be remarkably short. It will just contain the main method. And inside the main method, hold on one second. I Okay, so let's look at uh, the main method, which is just going to have a, like a tiny piece of test code. And what we're going to do in the test code is we're going to create that list of words that we saw before, all those weird Greek words. And then we're going to call, we're going to create a Sicelli object, uh, pass it those words in the constructor, and then we're going to just call the go method on Sicelli. So to do that, I'm going to just create a string of words here. Anybody know what these things are? You probably have to have like some kind of classic liberal arts education to know what these things are. I'm guessing there's some sort of like Greek goddesses or something like that. I, I don't know. Okay, so we have those words. We're going to create a Sicelli object. We're going to pass the Sicelli constructor this list of words that we want hashed. And then we're going to ask the Sicelli object to just do its thing and print out the answer. So this is in its entirety the uh, test code that we need to have here for this project. So you can see we need to create a Sicelli class. I'm just gonna use the error handler to do that here for me. And here we are. And uh, I'm gonna get you started with giving you pieces of this code. Uh, however, your main job over the next week or so is to work with your partner on finishing this up. Uh, I will tell you that we're going to use a constant here, and I'm going to set this to four. Um, if you, for some reason, want to play around with this and make it a bigger number, you can. Like I said, there's no science to setting the max for the G values. It's more of an art form, best I can tell. Okay, let's keep going. Now, when we take the words from the tester, the tester is going to give these words to us as a list of strings. We need to take these words and we need to make a slightly more sophisticated object out of them. And that's the main thing I'm going to give you a head start on. Uh, we're going to create this class called Word. And I'm going to show you what that is going to look like. And we're going to basically put our the words that were given, we're going to put into this uh, transform them into this th these objects here, and that'll that'll happen before we start the Sicelli algorithm. And now we're going to create a couple of maps here, and this frequency map. This is going to just be the first map. No, the score and the hash function are two different things. Let me make that clear here. The scoring, what you're doing is you are taking each word and figuring out how often the beginning and ending letters are used. So for Calliope, you can see C has been used twice and E has been used six times, so it has a score of eight. You're using these scores to originally sort the words. You're going to process the hash codes in the order sorted. The hash code algorithm is this algorithm. It's not the same. 